Hey guys, Ratty Dog, how we doing today? Yeah, yeah. Ratty Dog in the dog house. Boo, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Got another DIY. Got a, a product sent to me by a company. They want me to do my evaluation on this product. And I tell them, I tell them guys, and I'm telling you, I don't do reviews on products I don't like. If I don't like the product, it goes back to the company. I, I'm just not going to put something on my... Uh, and, and risk my reputation on putting something out that's not quality, that's not a good value. That being said, let me show you what I got here. What I've got is a, it's a parking lot light, be great for a, a large space. It's 200 watt, can do 120 volt up to 200. You can hook it up to 120 or 277. So uh, pretty substantial light here. This is LED. And it is a dust to dawn. It's got your motion uh, sensor, or not motion sensor, your photo cell right here. It's dust to dawn. And guys, if this, I've got another one of these, uh, and it is, these things are so bright. And uh, look at this thing. You talk about a substantial light. This, this baby will throw some light, okay? And uh, here's your wires right here. And then here's your mount. Look at this mounting bracket. You can either pole mount this, I've got a I've got a, a metal beam that I'm going to do a sandwich mount, and the way this will work, let me show you. See, here's your here's all your specs. If you can see that, 200 watts. This thing puts out 200 watts, and let me tell you, it will reach out and grab. <laughs> you talk about uh, lighting up the darkness. This baby will do it. And um, but here's the mount right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. I'm going to sandwich about a, around an I beam, an H beam that I have on my carport. And these just do a, you just sandwich these around the beam, or you can pole mount it too. And see how it has the the concave for a pole mount. And it has these these gaskets here as well. These rubber gaskets to hold it in place to help hold it. But uh, anyway. Very cool, Got, and I give you the bolts. These are, uh, these use big Allen screws. These are big Allen head bolts, you can see it there. Anyway, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll get out here, I'll get this thing mounted, I'll show you where I've mounted it, and then tonight we'll come back and we will do a reveal. I'll just, I'll, you know, turn it on and show you how bright and how much area this thing illuminates. I'm gonna have it pointing out to the west side of my property that backs up to a strip center so you can see the illumination this puts out. But I'll be back for that. You guys stay tuned and uh, we'll just we'll just get her done and see what uh, see how this thing works. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay guys, there it is. I got it mounted. I had to modify the bracket somewhat with some of my own nuts and bolts and washers to go around this beam. This is not a typical, you know, it's not like mounting on a pole or or a flat surface. I had to sandwich around this plate and I had to use some of my own nuts and bolts. Not a big deal and washers, not a big deal. But here it is right here. I'm gonna pull the, uh, I've got the dust to dawn sensor covered so it will come on. Now, there it goes, that went off. So it'll come on here at dark. And uh, it has, a, here's the, the sensor on the side and this is an adjustment you can make to it, how sensitive it is. So you just take a Phillips head or flat head even, I guess, and you can adjust it. Uh, using that but and and it is it's got this little cover dust cover that goes over it and I'll put that back on there and anyway we'll be back tonight I'll come whoa let me get off the ladder here okay we'll come back tonight and we'll give this thing a good run what I'm doing is that light is going to illuminate this area of my yard I've got you know a strip center over there and I've had some homeless people, you know, come and try to get over a fence. My dogs, of course, keep them out of here. But if it's late at night, dogs are in. Uh, I want to keep this illuminated. And uh, I'll be back tonight, and we'll show you that. Stay tuned for the grand finale. All right, I'll be back. Hey, baby. Come here, baby. That's my baby girl. Hey guys, Ratty Dog. I'm getting ready to walk out here and show you the grand finale of this light I put up. It, man, it's like 
it's like a runway light very bright here hold on let me let me walk out here okay oh shoot now we got a big old i don't know what it is coming overhead y'all hear that i think that's a helicopter dang wow that's loud oh that's a big old jet okay right over here you can see out in here there's me for laying there but all out in here is what i'm trying to illuminate you see my shed over there i've got a solar light up on it and it's illuminated it just lit up so here we go okay you guys keep your eyes out over there oh shoot okay keep it now yeah, the light is on this okay here we go you ready one two three boom <laughs> look at that gone wow now that's bright guys look at that my goodness that's as bright as that other one, and it's not as big. Look at that, look how bright that is. Look at it, it illuminates way over there. See my shadow? There's my cat out there. See my cat? There's old toes out there. You can see old toes out there. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you guys, that is bright. What do you think, Meef? Can you see those skunks now? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's that's nice. That's a nice light. Golly, and it is bright. I can't even look up into that. That is, you guys see how bright that is? Golly, that's bright. That's an LED, and man, it is so bright. But it puts out no heat. So cool. That's it up there, but anyway, guys, that's it. That's bright. I like it. That is a very nice light. Dust to dawn. I think it's 200 watts. But look at it over there. I'm going to do it one more time so y'all can see. Turn it off. Boom. And then on. A boom. There goes my dog. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my review. Good, good product. Really nice light. 110 volt LED, 200 watt. All right. Y'all take care. God bless. Kaboom!